Okay. I think we are on. Are we on? Can't tell. All right, collective. What is going on? What is going on with the world today? Hello, welcome to Gemini Lion Gate for 88. My name is Jenna. Welcome, welcome to my channel. This is a channel where I channel messages from your guys to my guys by using divination. Please keep in mind that these messages are general. Not every message is going to resonate with you guys. That's okay. That's how it's supposed to work. Um. By the way, I really love these cards. <laughs> I think I know they're like really cool. I really like these. Um. So this is how this channel works. I am an angel medium. I pick one angel of the week. And this week I've been working uh, with Archangel Haniel. This is an Archangel. Um, so this angel doesn't work under any other choirs besides herself. Um, which is funny because in the Bible, or um, she is a he, but I think they turned... I think over time, the reason why Archangel Haniel became a female in nature um, is because of the energy that she gives off. She's represented by the Lover's card, um, but it's also, um, and ruled by the planet Venus. Um, it's about this feminine energy with her. Um, this is an Archangel that, yes, all of them want you to work with your intuition, but whoever really works with this angel or whoever calls upon this archangel, because, you know, each angel besides the archangels, all the rest of the 72, 71 angels work underneath these angels. So, um, and they're usually assigned to you by birth. This is an angel that, you know, again, this is an archangel. This is an angel that's not assigned to anyone. Um, but... If you could recognize this angel or call upon this angel, um, try to meditate with this angel, there is this loving energy that does come around you. And these, I, I really believe this is someone that will sharpen your intuition like no other. Um, I say like even one of your ancestors were like, you know, see that you're struggling right now. And, you know, say you don't believe in anything, okay? But you got to remember, our ancestors, our past loved ones, uh, our guardian angels, they do believe in us if we might not believe in them. And um, they they see that you're, you know, struggling with your intuition and you're not really listening to, um, this isn't your higher self. This is intuitive nature. This is, you know, that gut feeling, um, your sixth sense, your, you know, third eye opening. Um, your kundalini you're all your chakras lining up whatever it means to you okay um this is the angel that's going to help you this is I, I don't really feel like maybe some people might be going through a portal but i don't feel like that that's what this angel is about i feel like a lot of people's third eyes are going to be opening um this week with this archangel um she did um so when i was meditating with this angel earlier um, I asked, you know, what do you want the collective to know or do this week? And la yesterday reading, I got the third house was coming out in the green, Gemini's energy, the house of information. And she wants you guys to start using your, start speaking, start thinking before you're speaking. Um, and yes, use your intuition before you, before you say something. She might be really helping people, part of the collective, do this. Speak before they think about something. This is the angel of joy. She works with direct people who are searching for fulfillment to God, who is the source of all joy. If you become frustrated or disappointed looking for happiness and coming up short, you can turn to Haniel to develop the kind of relationship with God that will bless your truly enjoyable life, no matter what circumstance you find yourself in. And all you have to do is to be alert to the signs of Haniel as present. So, 
that's another thing with the lover's card. Um, it's not only talking about the relationship that you have with others, but it's talking about the relationship that and the connection that you have with God or with a higher source, whichever one you believe in. Um, I know some people are like, oh, I don't believe. Well, that's okay. If you don't believe in God, at least believe in Mother Nature, the Creator, something good. This is this angel is gonna help you guys really re either reconnect. I don't know. I, don't know. I didn't realize I was gonna say reconnect, but connect with a higher source. Because I mean, this angel is coming out for people that are like in a state of they have nothing to celebrate. Okay, they're in complete sadness. You know, they have disheartened in their heart. They're tired of not feeling joy. They're tired of not feeling happiness. Um, I, I mean, maybe depression, but it feels like just more and less just putting action into, at least for the moment, right? Like, because we know... Can go by. The devil. So, you know, when I decided to truly change my life, my, my behavior, my everything, because, um, I was left in a state of, you know, even before, um, my betrayal or before my, you know, ex, I was on my own, was left to my own devices, I guess. Um, I could have really decided just to cope through my sadness and stress through, cause I'm a recovering addict. I could, I could have just totally went the whole nother way and started using dope and just you know gave up on life or whatever but i i was like no I, i'm not gonna do that <laughs> i was like you know i really put in my faith and in god and i was like i understand there's like there's something bigger to this and until i get to that state of feeling joy again um i'm just gonna really connect with god because even just having that connection made me feel happy because I know it does take time um, to achieve things and to feel complete joy and to get yourself a good foundation. You know, many of you guys could have already done that. And you guys could be on the timeline where you guys are feeling, you know, happiness and the film, wish fulfillments are coming true. Um, but you put a lot of hard work in it, right? So think about the moment before you did that. Um, what did you have to do? You had you you prayed right or you turned to a higher source or you started just maybe getting into spirituality or you know what i mean it that's that little that little connection right there that's what really made you happy going to church whatever it was for you guys Some of you guys right now could be communicating with someone that, um, a partner about what's going to make you happy and what doesn't make you happy. Um, you're being asked to hold that idea, to defend that idea, to not sway on that idea or to that conversation, like mean what you say. Yeah, see she can instantly change your mood from great hopelessness to one great joy. She brings harmony and balance wherever she goes and reminds you to find fulfillment within rather than trying to find happiness from outside yourself. She reminds us that external joy is fleeting while the happiness that comes from within is never lost. So,
brings emotional freedom, confidence, and inner strength. That's another thing. So, like, the lover's card came out in reverse yesterday. So there, there could be some people part of, in the collective that are experiencing partnerships that are still, like, that's okay. We all learn differently. Okay. We all learn our life lessons and it is, it's not a race. It's not, a, it's not even a marathon. You know, um, whenever someone will awaken into it, they'll awaken into it. If, they're, if they don't, then they don't. But if you're in a partnership that you're not happy in and you know, it's not going to make you feel happy and it's just like someone can even be like not even attracted to another person anymore or never really was is because they were using another person or people to find happiness instead of trying to go on their own and find their own happiness. And um, maybe that's someone because it's like that page of swords energy. It's like someone could be really diff speaking, communicating um about delay news or delay information but they're kind of not swaying on it they're kind of they're meaning what they're saying someone could be finally saying like you know i'm unhappy in a situation and they're you know and i i i'm unhappy so that's at least a letting that's at least a step letting another person know that there's no um future there's no there's something that needs to be done at least um if it's not something that needs to be done um like say if someone's trying to tell a karmic this um obviously they're not going to give a shit because there is someone in a queen of swords in reverse energy that came out too there's someone that's very bitter very vindictive very nasty this could be an absent mother um very gossipy lies a lot and this person needs to get the grasp of their emotions because <laughs> she's really focused on the past and for you collective my divine feminines my divine masculines there is someone in your guys' energy that actually sees you as this happiness they see you as this not only external but internal happiness. They see you as the a wish fulfill a wish fulfillment. They see you as someone that they could that they could you know sit down with and enjoy life with. That they know if they would get with you, um, it would be it would be peace and harmony. It would soothe their soul at least. I like how I did it only three. So I could be speaking to a Leo or their um, people. Part of this uh, fifth house is in the green. So again, yes, right now you're happy. You're enjoying life. The moon. The moon. I think by now I fucking know. Let's see. I'm always wrong, too. Let's see. The moon and the moon. Someone could be doing something in... Yeah, see, the 14th planet is the moon. So we got moon energy. That's feminine energy right now. Someone could be actually waking up realizing that they're in their south node or someone is actually or you're in your uh, north node with the moon um this could be a um if you're not a leo leo could be your uh, moon rising you could be this you know you could be a taurus leo definitely like a feminine energy okay a life half number two coming out again
life have number four the sixth house is coming out in the green so someone could be experiencing a lot of like anxiety paranoia lunatic like with the moon energy like someone right now needs to get a hold of their emotions they're going to make themselves very sick this person could be 24 born on the 24th the second the fourth the six someone could be born on any month the 24th it could be march april june it could be april 2nd april 6th march 4th march 6th june 24th and then the fourth house is coming out so someone um something about a home someone's uh making themselves really sick about a situation 90 degrees life half number three am i missing a dice damn the second house. Okay, Venus. So we do got Venus and the moon. Archangel Haniel is out here. But 90 degrees, again, there's like this restriction here. I had to like move the candle right here because I cannot see. <laughs> I'm freaking blind. I'm going to make this part really short today. So let's just do some zodiacs and that's about it. So this could be a cancer or someone that has cancer in their chart. Who's this person in the fourth house? Who's this person in the fourth house? Am I doing reversals? Am I doing reversals on these cards, Archangel Haniel? Okay, no reversals besides whoever is going to be in the red over here because I always realize like my low vibrational. So who's this person in the fourth house here? Give me one zodiac sign. Who's this person? A Taurus. Yeah, Venus. Someone could have Taurus. Someone could have Taurus as their moon rising. Okay. This could be a Cancer, Taurus, Taurus, Cancer. Um, if you are this Taurus or have Taurus in your chart, if it's your North Node, you're being asked to um, wear your amulets this week by Archangel Haniel. She wants you to wear a lot of the lapis lazul, blue tourmaline, emeralds, pink quartz. If not, wear a lot of pink. Okay, Tauruses do look pretty in pink. Um, and maybe um a daisy maybe think about getting a tattoo of a daisy because that is one of your protective am amulets So right now there could be potential tension or conflict related to someone's emotions in their home life, a personal relationship, often manifesting as a struggle to balance personal needs with the needs of loved ones within the home environment. So someone is very emotionally discomfort in a house. This could be a family dynamic. This has to do with a lot of inner conflict and relationship challenges. And then you have this Leo. What life path is this person? Is this a life path number two?
four. Is this a life path number three? So right now, some if someone's a life habit number three or they have three in their chart, this person is being restricted from their creative outlet. They can't be creatively outspoken about something, maybe because they're connected to uh, Aries. Um, they can't truly self-express. They can be, and that's that restriction in a in a in a relationship or a home life, especially if this is a couple that live together. Um, there's some types of discomfort at home what about this leo energy or what about this joy so right now the collective is experiencing a lot of joy and happiness right now and peace and harmony in this fifth house being in the who's in the fifth house what zodiac sign is in the fifth house this could be a libra oh, hold on it could be a libra also with venus this could be a Capricorn. So you could be a Capricorn or have Capricorn in your chart. You could be a Leo Capricorn, a Capricorn Leo. But the devil is representing this. Right now, you guys could be like having a lot of fun. Um, people could find you because the devil doesn't always mean something bad. Um, you could be being, how can you say, um, taking selfish actions to your happiness so say if you're a type of person where you've always been doing things for everybody else you could be actually be doing stuff right now that's like i'm doing me like i don't care what you say i'm going out i don't care what you say i'm gonna hang out with this person i don't care what you say someone is in that type of energy they um hopefully they're not too bad on their shadow side but they're they're tapping in more on their um devilish you know playful ways um you can be very whoever um what life have number is this life have number two is this a life have number four this could be a life have number four yeah so this person is all work no play so someone is definitely taking the initiative to to be happy maybe they're going you know maybe someone's going out and you know, haven't been out for a while, so they're going out to have fun. Um, because there could be that tension right there in their home life. Girls just so wanna have fun and <laughs> just yeah because right now someone is restricting someone from having the freedom from their own ideas from really thinking for themselves and who's in this um sixth house in the red or life half number two that's lacking in empathy gene <laughs> that's being in that this life half number two came out i think in my reading yesterday um in some type of low vibrational energy um what zodiac sign this could be a virgo or someone has virgo in their chart and this is a scorpio or someone that has scorpio in their chart it could be a uh, moon rising or these could be, I feel like these are people like North Nodes or South Nodes. Um, this person could be very, um, I don't know, this Scorpio energy. This person could be very sexual. Hold on. Um... I don't know why this is coming out. There could be some tension in someone's like 
someone might not be attracted to another person anymore. I, I that just keeps coming out so much, and it's it's driving someone to the point of stressing themselves so bad. They're they're sick. Hold on. Yeah. My son phone shows it's out of the internet. Oh. Did it come back? I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. I'm doing a. Uh -uh. I don't know. We don't have internet, of course. And well, of course, it's been like hell. I, I remember it's like, no internet, and it's like, yeah, we all freak, I freak out, because well, I'm an online student, and it really sucks. Um, challenges in daily routines, work, relationship with colleagues, due to conflict needs between your emotional nature, desire for harmony and pleasure, but see, someone is really desiring harmony, like, someone relies on sex to really, I mean... To them, in their mind, that's how, uh, like, that's how, that's what, that's what makes them happy, or that's what they think that's going to make a relationship happy, is based all on sex, and something could be fizzling out here for a relationship. It can be two colleagues, but I feel like it's more of a partnership, a romantic partnership, like, someone is really betting on, like, sex is love like that's how they get validation that's what's going to make a relationship good is if it's like they have sex all the time but i mean i don't know let's get into the reading i didn't want to spend too much on that on the zodiac signs and life hack numbers I'm going to just try to use these cards only um, today. Um, let's see how they, that's how they work. I really like these cards. They were totally worth it. I think they're like $26 off of Amazon, which isn't too bad. I usually... I won't go too crazy on spending um, that, that much money on tarot cards, but I think these ones are totally well worth it. They're really easy to shuffle. Again, these are the Raven Prophecy. And it's they have um, the roses as pentacles, which I is cool. Um... Yeah, there's an ending here that someone can't block. The death card and the seven of wands in reverse. Someone cannot stop block an ending. All good things come to an end. This could be a queen of wands in reverse. I told you this is someone that's very sexual. Someone that thinks that, you know, if they're not having sex with someone on a regular basis or someone is not attracted to them sexually, then the relationship is ruined. <laughs> um... That's just a bad sign right there. If you're with someone, you know, 10 of coins. Yeah, someone's done investing. They're going to be listening to their heart. Nine of cups to nine of coins to someone that could be a woman that's single, self-sufficient, that breathes and speaks abundance. So this could be a queen of, a king of wands in reverse, though. I hope not. Hope not. You know, I mean, as long as he turns himself up or upside or upright, I mean, I don't care if he's a king of wands, but don't be going to the collective in some type of distorted energy, you know? 
page of cups. Yeah, someone could be really like think feeling their emotions again for somebody. Six of Swords, someone that he they already transitioned. Holy Spirit, Archangel, what's going on right now? What's going on right now? Seven of Swords. Well, that's not good. So, <sighs> right away, huh? Um, so, right now, someone is in this energy, um, Aquarius energy. They're, you know, I like funny is how they, they go like this. Um, making promises that they can't keep. Lying, stealing, running away. Seven of Swords could be talking about running away. Running away from their problems. Just running away in general um, from their emotions. Someone, um, but this person is a, uh, deceiving. There could be some type of infidelity going on right now in a relationship. So what is this person, um, what's... What is this person um, in the Seven of Swords energy um, subconsciously thinking? What is this person subconsciously thinking? Oh, wait, no, no, no. What's influencing the Seven of Swords energy? What's crossing this Seven of Swords energy? What's crossing this Seven of Swords energy? What's crossing this Seven of Swords energy? Six of Cups in reverse. And the Six of Cups. So, it all has to do with past. Like, yesterday was past energy, too. So, something about the past is coming up. Something that's not good. So, someone could be trying to lie and deceit and run away or steal or cheat or infidelities going on because there's a lot of things that are coming up from the past that is reminding someone uh, and it's nothing good it's six of cups in reverse like someone has a lot of bad past memories about another individual they could be done focusing on the past as well I think they're doing like they're taking the wrong approach on this though. So. Or something is coming up from the past. And so someone could be, you know, doing something really sneaky here. Cause something is coming up. Maybe lies and stuff are coming up. Like maybe someone is finding out that like their their lies and you know, things that they said in the past or things that they did in the past, it's like not adding up to somebody. So they're trying to defend it in the seven of swords energy. What's going on in the subconscious? What's going on in the subconscious of this person's mind? There she is. I told you. So someone right now is with a queen of swords in reverse. Okay. This could be an air sign. This could be a Libra. This could be, this could be an Aquarius. Whoever this woman is, she's bitter, moody. She's overly, um, this is someone that does not act on their, um, their thoughts. They act on emotions or they could be very overly emotional right now. They're not logical at all. Someone is thinking about what this queen of swords, all the lies and things that she said in the past, all the things that she did to do, to cause this person to have a lot of painful memories. So it's like this queen of swords is getting like what she does. I not, I don't want to say what she deserves, but like, say, okay, say if this is your ex, if you're thinking about your ex, okay, this is your ex, um, husband or boyfriend or baby daddy. Okay. He got with this queen of swords in reverse. Um, you know, and she did a lot of manipulations to break you guys up or to make sure when he did get with her that he would never contact you again or, you know, because it, it, Queen of Swords in Reverse talks about they're always in competition with someone too. And, um, but now your partner, your ex is, it's like, all right. It's like karma. All right. 
let me show you let me i'll do you know what whatever we did to the collective i, I would, i'm doing to you like say this was a third party well guess what now she's a third party if she got with them and what's really influencing this person to be in this sneaking around and lying and not, you know, treating this queen of swords in reverse is because they got nothing but bad. They don't got good memories of this person. There are also things that are coming from the past that are like, I feel like not adding up. I never read, I never read it like that, but like, maybe they're like, oh, I remember when you told me that. The collective was talking to so and so, and I found out that that wasn't true. So you were lying about it. So you were in some type of competition. You were just manipulating. So who the Seven of Swords energy? Um, what are they thinking? Um, so they're thinking about this Queen of Swords in reverse, um, and how they've had nothing but bad memories. Like this is someone that doesn't like. In yesterday's reading, you had a past lover. This the Six of Cups is on the upright. So wh if your ex-lover, your past lover, or someone that you, it might not be someone that you've never had kids with, but maybe you just, you know, someone that you've had some type of interaction with, someone does think about you quite a bit, whoever was from your past. When they think about you, they have good memories. They have good loving memories. They think nothing but good about you. They might not tell a lot of people about it, but they, they know. They, they think of it about you at late at night. And they have, oh, man, I remember when me and the collective did this, and that was funny. I remember when me and the collective, you know, first met and how it felt and how we laughed. They don't have that with this Queen of Swords in reverse. They're starting, they're, that's what's, and they're like, I don't think of, like, this person. that Like, when I have past memories of this person, it's not the same feeling that I had of when of the collective because she's she's a bitch she's moody she's controlling she doesn't take care of her kids so what is this seven of swords and um thinking so he's sneaking around lying someone's sneaking around lying on this king queen of swords in reverse so what is subconscious what is going on here in the conscious forefront of this dude's mind there it is is leading up to a breakup. Yeah, this was a trauma bond between so crazy. So right now someone is doing what they know best. They they're they're reverting back to their own like if this is a playboy, like again, say if this is a third party, this Queen of Swords reverse, or this is someone that like they got they married and they were just like Fuck, dude, that was a mistake. Now they're lying and cheating on that person. Because they, instead of just telling them, because they know this is, they want to break up. This is a trauma bond between them. You see how their hands are like that? He, this person is trying to hurt, the, not, I don't know, intentionally, because this is not in the subconscious part. This is in his forefront. This is something that this Seven of Swords individual, heavy on the, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, air signs here. Pisces, even. Um, with the Six of Cups and the Three of Swords. But there is someone that is, like, thinking, okay, I'm done. I want to break up with you. This relationship is not going anywhere. Like, the, the Lover's card does, I never think, I never read the Lover's card in reverse as a breakup. Yesterday, the Lover's in reverse was in the reading and now today there's a breakup so yeah there's just they're, they're like i i don't care if i even get caught you know because of the this stuff look with the memories that we created for each other like it yeah okay so what happened in the past but someone is really going wrong well you know this queen of swords in reverse this could be her karma Paybacks, I just heard. What goes around comes around. Like, again, if this was a third party, she's. And, of course, this Seven of Swords, this is someone that's not cheating with you, Collective. Because I know my Collective would never be involved in this shit. But he's definitely cheating on Judgment. There it is. So... 
what started all this is like I don't know if you discover something or if people started someone here is awakened to something here. It's like the universe called judgment on this Queen of Swords in reverse. And whoever she's attached to, this person is lying, stealing, just cheating. This, this is infidelity. The Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords, that's infidelity right there. Someone is cheating on this Queen of Swords in reverse because, she, because they're thinking about, again, she's in this energy. They're thinking about, man, what a bitch she is, man. She, she, all she does is lie, man. She's so full of shit. And it's because of something in the past that was called out. The universe could have just called these two out and said, you people are a bunch of bullshit. And what's influencing this cheating on this queen of swords is this person is like, he might even want to bring someone back from his past. He can, might even be cheating on her with someone from his past. What's going to happen here in the near future? And look at this judgment card. There's like the queen of... So this could be a Scorpio, there's Scorpio energy right here. Um, the queen of... It looks like the queen of cups crown in the book. That's interesting that they made the judgment card like that. But someone is, yeah, there's judgment out here. So what's going to happen here in the near future? What's happening here in the near future? The hermit. So someone's going on a journey. <laughs> someone's getting their lan lantern and they're, they're, they're going to isolate themselves from this queen of swords in reverse. They're going to go off on their own. It's time, now that this person is awakened, that they've created nothing but bad past memories with this person, here in the near future, they're going to go and collect all, they're going on a journey. They're, they're going on their own. They're not going to go with this Queen of Swords in reverse, okay, that they're already thinking about breaking up with or it is happening now. The way they're going about it is kind of messed up, but you know. If she was a third party or I hate to, I don't kind of feels like the universe said, you know what, if you want to be some a third party in people's relationships, or if you want to be this way, constantly competing with people or being um, in this negative energy, this is your karma. This is your judgment call. You know, you're going to have to deal with it. Now you're going to feel what it feels like to be on the other shoe and heartbroken. Okay. Um. And someone's then here in the near future, after they're done cheating and breaking someone's heart or breaking up with someone, they're going to go off on their own. They're going to go on their, their little journey and they're going to, you know, they might even just hitchhike on the highway and just go, you know, from state to state. I don't know why I'm thinking of this, but, or on the railroad tracks, because this is like a little railroad lantern, you know, and just like, because the hermit talks about someone that is on a quest for knowledge, on a quest of inner healing, on the quest of understanding themselves. And so they go into isolation. They do it on their own. And this Three of Swords is pretty like, it, this is all he could think about. Whoever this um, person is in the Seven of Swords energy. That's dealing with the Queen of Swords in reverse. So what's the advice for this person? What's the advice for this Seven of Swords? The Moon. It's crazy. Has the Moon... We have the Moon that came out in the... Yeah. 
So the advice for that, that this person needs to be is to do this in secret. I don't know why. I, I mean, it's, I, I've i never read this. I will never encourage someone to cheat on anyone, especially, I mean, I don't care if this person is the biggest bitch or was the worst third party or like, but I'm not the one that, can, I'm not the one calling judgment. The universe is the one that's calling judgment on this queen of swords. So the advice for this person and the seven of swords energy that's cheating or running away and lying is to continue to do something in secret, to move in silence, to, 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 especially when they go on this journey, like don't let anyone know that you're going on this journey. It's like, I've never read this before. It's like, the universe is telling this person to continue to do, to, do this so that this Queen of Swords can to know what it truly feels to be scared and to feel fear. This is karma for someone. This is someone's karma. This Queen of this is so crazy. Like for the universe, for Archangel Aniel to tell this person, continue doing it in secret, continue to make this person feel scared is like crazy and then just poof in thin air just bounce on them at the last minute because this is their judgment this is their judgment call she must have did something was an outside influence was outside influence here i'm curious about what she did okay what's outside influence give me outside influence the sun you know what everyone else whoever is around this person in the seven of swords energy they they see that this person is not happy that they're not they're not they that they lost the sun so again they you, they could have been connected to a leo that they lost the sun in their hand and they could be even encouraged like outside influences could be encouraging this this person to do this to this queen of swords like dude if you're unhappy cheat on her break up with her this is her judgment and then in the near future take off on her and to do it in secret don't let her know because right now she could be like like if that night like she could be ready to hurt herself or hurt somebody Or threatening to do it. What is the what is this seven of swords energy? What's this person's hopes and fears? The tower. Someone is afraid of another person. To be awakened. See this bonfire? Like, or someone is hoping that if they do this, that they won't, they won't have to, you know what this reminds me of? You know the, like, you know how in some countries they have people that do the act of, like they send their young off to do something like to go kill a lion, like with the stick is an act of courage or something like that to prove their manhood. Someone is afraid to go. I don't know why I'm thinking of this, but like with the tower, like someone's afraid to go through not a tower, but maybe, but through this box, through this fire, like we've all been through there, right? We've all had tower moments in our life. If the, if it was losing a partner, divorces, um, death, loss, job loss, um, whatever they, these towers were for us, we've all had to go through the fire, walk through the fire, barefooted, cross over. And once we crossed over, we were like spiritually cleansed. You know, the fire cleanses your energy and you renew and you're like, wow, I'm so fucking awakened. I will never do that again. This person doesn't want to go through some type of like awakening, like they don't want to go through the fire. They don't want to go through the tower. 
This is why they're in the Seven of Swords energy. Like, I can't say that this person is a good person. This person is, is kind of a cowardly energy. You know, they could just be like, there the sun is coming out. This person does rather run away, especially from this Queen of Swords. Especially now that judgment's there. But if they do this on their own, which it looks like they are, someone could be a, a life path number nine. So if this person is a life path number nine with this Hermit energy, this is their last reincarnation here on Earth. This is their last... They better go through that fire. <laughs> they better go through that fire. We've all been through it, buddy. Just get your courage on and just, you know, walk through the fire and you will come out renew, okay? Um, what's going to be the outcome of this reading? What's going to be the outcome in this reading? The higher fit in reverse. It's funny, here's another lantern. This could be a divorce. This could be a loss of a commitment. Something that was taboo. Someone is not enlightened. Then who's this? Who? Why is this going to be? Like, even if someone goes on a journey, they might still not figure something out they still might not be able to learn life lessons if they don't go to that tower especially with the higher fan reverse it feels like someone's losing more of a commitment though let's talk about this i'm gonna go more <laughs> let's talk about this let's see here Because this reading is interesting to me. And usually they're not. Well, they, usually they are. But, like, usually they're like, oh, you know, this person wants to block your opportunities. And I'm like, okay, I'll read it, but whatever. But this one is, like, so intriguing. Because it's like they're being asked to cheat on someone. Like, by the universe. But after they're done doing that, they need to go on a journey. They need to move in silence, but, and they need to go through this tower. And, okay, let's see. Who's the, Okay, what's the Seven of Swords energy? 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 Yeah, someone right now is not okay. <laughs> they're, they have no stability they have a lack of harmony they're not doing they're not they're not okay or maybe someone is like it's okay am i taking these in reversal am i taking these in reversal someone is like actually very okay am i taking these in reversal Someone is like to the point, whoever the Seven of Swords is, energy, whoever's attached to this Queen of Swords in reverse, they're actually like okay doing this to someone. Like they totally feel fine cheating and lying to somebody right now. Who is this person? Who is the Seven of Swords energy? Who is this person? Who is this this cheater, this liar that's like I'm do I'll do it and I'm okay with doing this to someone? Who is this person? Six of coins in reverse. This is someone that is like breadcrumbing this shit out of another person. This is an individual that is like okay treating someone badly. Like, this Seven of Swords energy individual is fine. Not, 
like with help withholding energy not wanting to give doesn't want to give those flowers not even a, a petal to this queen of swords in reverse they are okay with it something happened here that someone is like Let's see what happened. What what happened? What's influencing this energy? What's the six of cups? What happened in the past that is really influencing this person to be okay breadcrumbing and cheating on another this queen of swords that they see as a fucking bitch? What is this? So they found out about something about going to jail, a confinement, captivity, tolerance, unfreedom. So. Say this Queen of Swords um, in reverse. She said that the reason why this Seven of Swords energy person went to jail, she lied about it. You got to remember, the Queen of Swords in reverse is a liar. She lied and said something happened while he was in jail, while he was locked up in confinement. See, he found out something about the past that wasn't true. And that's what really flipped this guy's gear into saying, you know what? I don't, I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine cheating on you. I am totally okay with this. I am fine giving you the bare minimum. I will breadcrumb this shit out of you. Okay? Because something about the past came up either when he went to jail or when he was locked up in confinement and he found out something, okay, or something came up or he found out the truth about something or when he or she had something to do with him going to jail. What's this? So something from the past when he was locked up, what did, what did they find out? What did he find out? Well, or the seven of swords, what did, five of coins. In reverse. So. That he really wasn't out. Out in the cold. So let's say here for instance. This queen of swords in reverse said something like of the sort when say that your past lover went to jail okay and or was in confinement or was somewhere where he couldn't reach you this queen of swords could have told him that like oh she left you out in the cold you know um she doesn't want nothing to do with you um it was a lie Um, you know, she's, she's just going to leave you the minute you get out of, uh, out of jail. She's going to leave you the minute like, oh, she just, she meant she, but it was, it was not true. There could be something also with finances. Like she could be saying that like he didn't have any money or Because the Five of Coins talks about or someone being sick and someone really wasn't. Because the Five of Coins talks about like an addiction or struggling or a trauma. Looks like past trauma too with the Six of Cups in reverse and the Five of Coins. I'm trying to think of another way of reading this. It's like when you when you hope to return slowly but surely, you can be positive from the trouble you've been recently experiencing. Well, there you go. That's a good way of explaining it. So this person found out 
from their past that there was a possibility that they could return back slowly but surely and got over some type of turmoil with somebody. Like, say, again, if this person was in captivity or was unfree, was in a situation where, you know, it feels like they got locked up and there was a lot that was going on, but they didn't realize until now that they could have actually came back from all that. But they were told very differently from this Queen of Swords in reverse. They were told different. So someone knew that they could came back from. Now they know that they could have came back from a situation at, when a time that they were confined. These are past lies. And this is like, I mean, that really is making this person just like, okie dokie, I'll treat you like shit. <laughs> That's so crazy. So I, I think he's taking a different, he should just do this right away. <laughs> um, it feels like a masculine energy, but you know, he should just go off on his journey instead of like trying to do this. But subconsciously, he's he's not talking about this Queen of Swords in reverse. He's thinking of it without realizing it. What is he? Th what's his? Who's this Queen of Swords in reverse? What's this? She bribed him. Endorsement. She bribed him somehow. She tempted him. She persuade him. Look how he's like, no. So he's really like, he's not talking about it, but he's really thinking about how she did everything in her power to manipulate him, to tempt him, bribe him, indulge him, and endorsement, like to, to make him take an offer that he didn't want. What was this bribe? What was this endorsement? What was this endorsement? To cut someone off. To cut someone off in a very painful way. To to make a Gemini like a heavy on the air signs in this reading. Uh to to make a quick decision. A decision that was like out of the thin air. And I don't know why the Knight of Swords is represented by scissors with blood at the end of it. But it, it feels like to make a quick decision to cut someone off. This You know, he's thinking about how she did everything in her power to lie, manipulate, to bribe him, to tempt him, to do this. To cut people's energies out of his life. So quickly, too. Like, out of thin air. When he realized now, okay, at a time from his past when he was confined, okay, it wasn't a happy time when he was confined, whenever he was locked up. But he knew he could have got over that situation slowly but surely. He knew that he didn't have to do this. He didn't have to take some type of bribe. Like, he could have got out of jail or prison, and this Queen of Swords was, like, right on his ass saying, Here, let me persuade you, let me tempt you to do this. He knows now that he didn't have to do all that. And this is why he is okay treating this person this way. So what's this breakup that's going on with this three of swords? So yeah, he's thinking about a breakup. Uh, what's his disappointment, guilt, shame? You live and you learn. Experience, training, development. He's just feeling like cutting, he just feel like he, like this breakup is going to be a really life lesson here. Or there was a breakup involved in the situation that was learning a life lesson. Maybe he's thinking about the breakup that happened between you and the, um, you collective. And how someone lived and learned from that breakup. From that heart, from that heartache. What's this live and learn? What's this live and learn? So your subconscious thinking about this queen of swords, four of swords, and rejuvenate. Look, it come on through spirit. The three of swords to the four of swords. 
after a lot of disappointment, heartache, a breakup, it's time to put something to rest. It's time to reset life. It's time to rejuvenate. He's really thinking about learning and living this lesson. He's like, okay, I know I'm going to have to break up with this person, experience what I need to, and then go reset my life. Go rejuvenate. Go to a place where I could fucking decompress. Because this judgment that happened in the past, what's this judgment? Okay. So, you know, failure, catastrophe, poor. So right now, in the past, since he's been with this queen of swords that bribed him to make a lot of quick decisions, okay, this is what they've been experiencing. The divine said no. Whatever this, whatever um, this heartbreak was or to hurt someone, to break someone's heart, and while well, another person lived and learned and is rejuvenating from that, the divine said no. I'm calling judgment. You people will experience failure. You people will lose your home. You people will, will not have money in the bank. This is the divine judgment. This is like God calling judgment. Like they have been experiencing. And they knew. They knew. Okay. They know. They might even be thinking that they're getting locked up right now from something that they did in the past. But they figured if they get out of jail or prison, they're going to come back from this energy. Okay? Like they're planning on it. Like they're like, okay, so something from my past is going to bite me in the ass and I know I'm going to go to jail. But I know this is something I can come over overcome. Once I go to prison and figure it out, right? Or once I go to jail and I... Get away from this Queen of Swords in reverse, and then I could be okay. Because this is all I've been experiencing anyways. Is this Five of Coins energy? So, being locked up doesn't look so bad. <laughs> Someone does not. They're, like, really unhappy with this. This is why the cheating is okay on this person's end. What's this judgment? The Divine said, no, you will be poor. No. Nothing but catastrophe. There was like a reckoning that happened in the past here. What's this homeless? Ten of swords in reverse. By causing a, a painful ending. Gemini energy right there too. By, by causing an ending that was unnecessary. Stabbing someone in the back. That was like stabbing them in the back with the scissors. Because they were bribed or tempted or persuade to do so well guess and this this was this hurt well that's why the divine said no if you want and especially this is like a breakup here but having that between you and the you know the collective and whoever your past person is if he hurts you in such a bad way this is what the divine said you and this queen of swords will go through nothing but judgment for what you did if it was like a soul contract. So the hermit, now someone's on a journey learning life lessons. Having sweet dreams. So here in the near future, someone is going to go on their own. And they're going to be satisfied. They're going to feel comfortable. They're going to be resting. They're going to be getting good night rest once they're away from this queen of swords in reverse. What's this sweet dreams? Being, feeling satisfied, being on their own, isolating themselves. Ace of swords. It's like once this person, here in the near future, once someone gets away from this queen of swords and reverse this liar, um, that did something here when a time when he was confined or something like that, who he feels like it's okay to cheat on and treat like shit. His whole mind, like, look, he will have a, the sun in his hand. He will have so much mental clarity and truth and, and uh, not even awaken, but the fog is going to clear and he's going to be like, oh, I'm going to feel so much better. And I'm going to be under a tree by my, or I'm going to be, you know, in, in, a, in a somewhere else where I feel safe. 
and away from this Queen of Swords in reverse. The advice that this person needs to do this needs to move in silence. Needs to do something in secret. What is this secret? This moon energy? Calm. Inner peace. Meditate. That they need to calmly, okay? Don't tell anyone their plans. Don't let this Queen of Swords in reverse know what you're doing. Just do. Okay, just do it in a very calm way. Also, someone could be really, this bitch could be crazy right now. She could be losing her mind and she needs to calm her ass down. What's this moon? Three of coins in reverse because, yeah. So the advice is that someone really does need to calm down because another person doesn't want to, they don't want to work with them anymore. They don't want to communicate with them anymore. They don't want to work together. Like this is a relationship if or this is whoever this seven of swords individual is, is attached to this queen of swords in reverse. Like they don't want to they, they don't want to work with them. They don't want to collaborate with them. They don't want to to think talk about ideas in the future. They don't want to think about different ways they could scam people or nothing. He's not giving this person his energy no more. And she is the one that needs to remain calm. She could be losing her shit over this. Because everyone around this Seven of Swords energy, everyone can see that this person is so damn unhappy. And that he needs, like, even his friends are telling him. His friends are and family are telling him, love yourself, bro. Forget this chick. Love yourself. What's this self-love? His friends are telling him. Nine of coins. Yeah. They're like, dude, you're not working hard enough on loving yourself. Like, you have not put any time or effort or commitment into loving yourself. This is why you're unhappy. All you've been doing is feeding into this Queen of Swords energy, seeing what she could give you, and so quick to cut off everyone around you. And obviously, she, she didn't get you shit. Even when you cause a painful ending, you still didn't get anything out of it. Because the divine said, nah, fuck no. What's this? Um, and someone is so afraid to go through this tower, this act of courage. Or what is it called? I don't know. You know what I mean. The tower. Someone doesn't want to go through that fire. What's this tower? Because they could feel like they're commi a commitment. Find it, obstruction, con contract. So this could be this Queen of Swords energy too. She could be afraid of someone. She was trying to bind someone. She's trying to hold someone back from going, from walking through this tower so that they could be renewed. So that they could go through the transformation that they need to. Or they could feel like they're bind to this Queen of Swords. Was this commitment? The Magician in reverse. Aquarius energy again. Someone is using a lot of, like, spell work. This is a binding spell. Look at it. The Magician in Reverse and Binding. Someone is, this Queen of Swords could be using binding spells to make sure that this person doesn't go through this transformation. Oh. Or using a lot of energetic manipulation to bind someone but it looks like that contract's gonna break anyways the higher frame reverse what's this higher a commitment's gonna yeah what's this higher frame reverse what's this higher frame someone's gonna be lonely higher frame in reverse interaction joy friendliness indulgence Someone could be, um, what is this? Indulging with their friends and instead of being in a commitment into a relationship, what's this higher frame reverse? One more time. Alliance. It has to do, and, and, and friendship, trust, honest, compatibility. Someone is not going to be aligned 
like an alliance with the three of where is it three of coins in reverse an alliance is going to break there's going to be no trust between uh in a marriage what's this alliance knight of swords or king there he is finally came out king of swords in reverse there he is he could definitely be this Aquarius. So the outcome is this King of Swords in reverse is going to break. He's going to, um, and he's also very cold, manipulative, empathetic. He, this, he's also just like this Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay. He is going to, and he's going to break an alliance. He doesn't feel like he's compatible with this Queen of Swords in reverse. That's for sure. And this higher frame in reverse means a contract is done. A karmic contract feels like it's done, if anything. King of Swords in reverse. I knew he wasn't a divine masculine because I was like, a normal masculine would not be in this. Okay, well, I'm just going to cheat on you now. I don't give a fuck about you. And you know what? He's going to feel nothing but sad. Like, he, he's not going to care. Whoever this King of Swords in reverse is, he could be an Aquarius. He does not care at all who he's hurting, especially her. Because he already knows that judgment was her, and he's done to hurt somebody. Yeah, judgment, Ten of Swords. Someone is, the Divine said, no, you hurt someone in the most fucked up way because King and Queen of Swords. You guys were involved in this. This to make these quick decisions to cheat and to lie and to steal. So now your past is coming up, or now they got nothing in the past. These two didn't, nothing was achieved here. And someone really feels like if they break up with someone, they'll get over it. it it'd be an easy breakup because, and. Once they go on this journey, and once they're isolated and they're like on their own, yeah, they'll see the truth because they want, and they're gonna start um, after that. They're when they're gonna be resetting and rejuvenating. They're not going to be communicating with that Queen of Swords in reverse, and they're being told to keep to do this in secret. Look at the sun and the moon because they're unhappy, so unhappy right now. But they need to work harder on going through that fire and this magician this spell to try to bind someone it's going to eventually it's the that binding spell is going to break and it's going to be ugly because someone was um bribing someone and look where it got them someone knows that after they're done going to jail or in the past after they were done going to jail or being locked up that they were going to be okay but you know what you live and you learn they might even dream about this they're going to remain calm and, and love themselves <laughs> when they break this alliance they don't want to be committed they don't want to be binded to these people or this queen of swords in reverse anymore and they're going to do this in such a like nonchalant way like they're gonna be like yeah okay we were together, but you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I don't want to be with you anymore. 